Dunneen Fine Arts Center's wearable art was one of the first shows like it in the area 15 years ago. It showcased a growing contingent of artists working in fashion related ways. That continues and this tradition is now in its 16th year. George Ann Bissett, president and CEO of the Dunneen Fine Arts Center and Raya DeMalder, wearable art designer, join me now. Ladies, welcome to the show. How Thank are the so both much. of Good. you? Thank you very well. Thank you. So let's first talk about the history. I mean, this mm. is one thing that people look forward to all yes, year, don't yeah. they, Georgia? And we didn't have it for two years because of COVID, but we continually got telephone calls about it. Oh, I bet. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about the popularity, though, and, and the history and, and kind of the growth in general. What do you think is it about this show that it resonates with people that just continues to show that popularity, you know, year in and year out? Mm, it's a combination of beautiful designs, creativity, art with fashion, sexiness. Um, people just love to have a good time and it makes your whole imagination explode. You know, and Raya, let's talk a yeah. little fashion and art. I mean, this kind of takes on a different take than maybe what people don't think of when they talk about art. What's the relationship of art and fashion for you as a designer? Yeah, well, for me, I have a background in theater as well as fine arts, and I always loved fashion as well. So this really marries all of that. It's like a theatrical show. Mm -hmm. It kind of lets you, you know, traditional fashion shows are there to sell their work. This really lets you run free with your imagination and make it more uh, like celebrate the artistry rather than mm -hmm. the pushing of the commercial aspect of yeah. traditional fashion shows. Yeah. And I was like, you're, you're smiling right along. Oh, yes. Is, is yes. these creative elements that you are able to witness and that people, why again, it always uh, yes. almost sells out well, each year. It I really mean. does because the, we have artists like Ryan, we've had them for uh, 15 performances. It's just sensational. It is never the same. And it's not clothing that you can actually wear to a party, <laughs> but it is just outrageous. Um, one of our designers 14 years ago had a dress made of meat pre, pre, <laughs> pre Lady Gaga. <laughs> and we've had dresses made of everything, even condoms. And I got a bit of trouble over that. Uh, did you? We didn't bring that one here no, today, no, did we? No, we but didn't. Talkers, we did. But it's talkers. And I feel like that's yeah. what art is supposed to be about. Yes, yes. It really is. It makes people think and talk. We mm. step out of your zip code and out of your area. I it. like that. And that's what you're able to show on the yes. models that we are getting ready. You've brought two looks. We actually get to have a little bit of a fashion show, if you will. Let's go ahead. Tell us about the first look that we're going to see today and, and the first model, if you will. Uh, the first model uh, is Simi and she is wearing a look that uh, is actually made from a giant Chinese lantern. Really? And I knew I wanted to play with volume and I use a lot of florals in my designs, but for this one, I actually, they're made out of cheesecloth. <laughs> really? Yeah, I use a lot in the other ones. You will see the one coming up next. It's more uh, commercially made flowers, but for this one, it's all handmade. Can we talk about the headdress though? Is that even the correct name? Because that yeah. is gorgeous. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I think in wearable art, at least for me, um, I'm heavily influenced influenced by goddess and yes. that type of archetype and uh, you know there's such a rich human history in uh, storytelling and so often these type of shows for me anyway I love I love a good headdress so it often becomes the center point of a lot of my designs I, I love that and I feel like kind of the goddess vibe and I feel that yes. too for our second model here mm -hmm. as well yeah Nini is in a little bit of a darker look um, this one kind of was inspired kind of a more of a dark goddess if you will um, this is also made by florals but more commercially made. She has the peplum on the side there. I love that. And yeah. you see, and it's funny because you see that in fashion, but not obviously in the materials that you yeah. were able to use to make this look. Yeah, thank you so much. That's why it's such an exciting show because you can really, you know, this is not a functional look. <laughs> but it's a fun I don't one. even think they can sit down, but yeah. you know, it's um, really fun to be able to bring different elements of found objects and you know, I'm really uh, inspired by the actual materials themselves. So this type of work, you can really let it speak for itself. Good stuff, Raya, they're beautiful. And, and in closing, Georgianne, let's go ahead. We're gonna share the details and the tickets. I liked hearing about, there's what, like party tickets available? Oh, yeah. You've got the, I mean, break down all of the fun that people can have, because there's really a ticket for every budget, right? Right, the tickets go from 85 to 130 to be in the theater. But you can come to the Art Center and have a 
standing ticket um, for $20. We're doing a pre-party, we call it our pre-glow pre party. And we'll have live music and bars and you'll have the opportunity to have your photograph taken, you know, you do your own oh, selfies. Nice. And then after the show, there's another party. <laughs> we love parties at the Art Center. I think genuinely artists make parties a lot of fun. I love that. Well, again, this is such a big fundraiser for the yes. Dunedin mm -hmm. Fine Fine. Art Center. So let's go ahead again, take one more look at the models. Thank you, everybody, for being with us today.